At the John Hines National Wildlife Refuge, over 200 volunteers participate in Frog Watch, documenting the sights and sounds of frogs for six nights. Carlos Martinez, a conservation biologist at the Philadelphia Zoo, is one of those volunteers. It's more like frog listen. Each frog has its own call, so you can identify what species is calling and how many of them are out there. He's particularly interested in the Atlantic Coast leopard frog. Wildlife is important and the amphibians are important and they're an integral part of, of the ecosystem. I already heard a pickerel frog. Toad Detour is another initiative Carlos and the Philadelphia Zoo partner with to ensure the conservation of wildlife in the area. They literally help toads cross the road to Upper Roxborough Reservoir. Working with Frog Watch and Toad Detour helps Carlos and the zoo team to collect data. To help elevate the importance of that area and to better understand the urban wildlife that we have in the city. The zoo team works with local students to rescue tadpoles from puddles that would otherwise dry up and die. The puddles were created by humans, not a natural place for these frogs to lay their eggs. The tadpoles are raised in schools by students and then released in the wild when fully grown. But it's more helping to build empathy towards wildlife in, in small children. It's not just local. The zoo's conservation efforts have an international reach. Last year, Carlos traveled to work with zoos in southern Ecuador and Haiti. And we figure out what's happening or why they are endangered in the wild. They breed these endangered species to strengthen their population. They now have helped to literally save and to replace in the wild a species of frog that was on the verge of extinction. Students from Philadelphia Zoo Crew traveled with Carlos to learn more about the threats facing these species. We realize that it's only through people's actions that we're going to save wildlife. Wildlife like the Guam Kingfisher and the Guam Rail. They are both extinct in the wild. Since 1984, the Philadelphia Zoo has been a leader in the conservation of this endangered species. The ultimate goal is to have them back on Guam free living in the natural state. Last year, the zoo raised 10 of them with plans to breed more. The Philadelphia Zoo really exists to influence in a positive way the future of wild animals and wild habitats.